Hey everybody, and welcome. This is assembly video for my rustic bench uh, 72. Uh, and so this is a classic uh, pew style bench, um, and it's just uh, got a very subtle back to it. Uh, nothing too fancy, minimal parts, and I'm going to show you how to assemble it right now. Uh, so once we've got everything unboxed, well we've got our instructions, and this is important to read along. Let's just take a look at what comes in the box. So we've got a set of instructions. Uh, we've got our first piece, which is the back piece. Um, and so we're not going to work with the back piece right now, so we're just going to take that and we're going to set it off to the side. So I'm just going to pick this up, put it over here for now, and then we'll come back and get that in a minute. So now that we've got it uh, opened up and we can see our other pieces, well, we've got three legs here. We have uh, a left leg, a center leg, and a right leg, or uh, I'm labeling them L, C, and R. And I realized that I started off doing it left, right, and center, but depending upon whether or not you're looking at it from the back or the front, doesn't make too much sense. So just use the labels that are on them. We also have our tool bag. And then uh, on the uh, very brief instruction sheet here, you can actually see what they're labeled. Uh, and so we'll just go through them. We'll sort them out. Um, usually I put a couple extra parts in here, uh, just in case one of them falls. So the first thing, um, that are going to come out are, uh, we see that there are some wooden dowels, these are 3 8 wooden dowels, uh, and so we're going to pull all of those out, uh, and we've actually got nine of them, might be ten, so we'll just put those off to the side. Uh, the next thing is we've got three sets of screws, uh, and so we've got some uh, pan head screws, uh, which are the medium sized screw, I guess we'll call those, uh, and so we've got a total of uh, nine of those, and we'll take them put them off to the side. Um, and then we got some tapered screws. These are the longer of the screws, uh, and we've also got nine of them. Put them off to the side. And then we've got three, uh, these are just wide hand head screws, and so we're going to take those and put them off to the side. All right, now that we've got uh, that laid out, we're just going to take our legs. Uh, let's take a, do a little quick look at the legs. Uh, from the inside, you'll see that each one is uh, labeled. This one has the R. I've also uh, taken to label them on the back because I did notice that when you did put them together, you couldn't see that label. So these are just uh, very simple tape. You can peel them off once you're done. So let's put them off to the side for now. And we'll see what we have here on the bottom. So on the bottom, we've got our seat. And then the only label we have is uh, what we see right here with the label on it. That's the top. And then we just label the front. And the reason that we're labeling the front is because if you turn to page number two here, the very first instruction set we're going to get is installing uh, the legs on there. So we're going to grab our first leg. In this case, it is the L leg. And so in order for this to work, you'll see that there's a set of holes. And those holes are in the back and the labels to the front. So we're going to tip it up where the front is uh, nose down, and then we can see our back here. So we're going to flip it on, it's back, and then we're going to see our labels again. Uh, we've got an R here, a C, and an L. You can see where they kind of change depending upon whether or not you're front or center. So we're going to take six of the wooden dowels uh, that we have put aside, and we're going to put them in the larger holes above and below each one of the labels that are here. Now these are guiding dowels, and they're going to make our lives a lot easier when we're actually assembling this. Then the first one we're going to do is we're going to grab our L bench, which is this one here. And so once we have the L bench, we're going to keep it nose down, and we're going to line it up with our dowels. And once the dowels are in, we're just going to give it a little tap. And then once the seat, well, all we're going to do is just tip it backwards so you can see it's holding itself down. Um, now we're going to get three of our pin hand screws. Uh, these are actually, let me give you the label for them. These are actually labeled D, and then this is the only tool you're going to need for the whole thing. And this is just a Phillips head screwdriver. It's not supplied. I kind of assume everybody has a Phillips head screwdriver in their house. If you don't, it is a very important tool. I suggest uh, you can pick one up anywhere. But let's do this, and we're going to do this all with a screwdriver. Um, you might be tempted to put a drill on it, but I really wouldn't because uh, they are wood screws, and if you overscrew them, you'll actually pull out the, uh, the thread. So we don't want that to happen. So we're going to put our first one in, and there's pretty uh, easy to follow instructions. Now, I'm only putting them each one in at a time, and I'm seating them. So everything's pre-drilled and piloted, so they should find their holes. Uh, particularly once we line them up with the dowels. And so, as you see, I'm screwing each one in halfway, 
just to make sure each one lines up with the holes on the inside. And then, once I have all three halfway in, well, I'm going to continue now screwing the entire thing in. And so this takes a little bit of time, so I'm going to do the first one here. And you're going to keep screwing it in. Um, it goes in pretty easily, uh, just because, like I said, everything's been piloted. And then once you start to feel a little bit of resistance, I want you to stop, and I want you to go to the next screw, and then screw that in until you start to feel a little bit of resistance. So this is kind of like a three-step process here with each one of these. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to get each one of these to seat and grab evenly. And that's important when we're looking at a piece of wood that is this big. We want to have even pressure on each one of them. So that one's in. And now we're going to the very last one, and we're screwing it in until we feel a little bit of resistance. Okay, now that we've got that little bit of resistance right there, now we're actually going to tighten it. So we're going to continue with the resistance, and if you look at the board itself, you're going to see that it actually pulls in a little bit. And that is just the uh, screw grabbing the seat and then drawing it into the leg and you want that to go down until there is no space between the leg and the seat back and then just go and tighten all of them now until you get that same amount of resistance and then it's going to pull in uh, the leg until the back of the seat. There we go and you can see we don't have any space there now and that's what we want. We don't want any space between the seat and the leg. There we go. So I just went back and I kept giving it even pressure across the board until they were all tight. And that leg is pretty sturdy. So now we're going to do uh, rinse and repeat. We're going to do the center leg and then we're going to do the right leg. And we'll put this on a little fast forward uh, so you can pause the video here and then just restart it once we get to the next step. Okay, all of those are in now. And it takes a little bit of time to do, but these are uh, really important pieces uh, because they act as a strengthener towards the seat, and then they're also uh, going to be uh, acting as, um, well, it's going to inhibit the wood uh, from expanding and contracting. Because this is wood, uh, that's what it naturally wants to do. So making sure all of these seat properly is going to be really important uh, to the lifespan of this. Uh, so, okay, now that we're at this position, we're going to take and we're going to tip the seat up so that it's sitting on its legs now. And then from the back, you can see that we have the labels again. And we're going to take a look at what we have here. So this is uh, the seat top. We still have the front here. And then we've got our set of holes here. And then these set of holes, uh, there's two different types. There's a 3 8 hole, which is going to receive the dowels here. So we're going to take those wooden dowels and we're going to put them in. And each one lines up to uh, the leg back that's here. Now that those are in, we're going to just kind of slide this forward, give myself a little bit of room as we're switching to the back. And we're going to make uh, our 
larger screws, these uh, uh, tapered screws, available to us. I'm going to put them in the back here, and we're going to grab the seat back now. So there's two sides to the seat back. Uh, this is the seat back as you see it here. Um, and we actually want that facing the other way. So we're just going to give it a little bit of a spin. And we're going to have that facing the other way. Now then, uh, this has got a taper on it. So it's got um, uh, two different sides. We have a chamfered side here. And then the other side is uh, square. But it's got actually a little bit of an angle. And if you lift it up, you can see that we've got the holes here. And so we're going to line up these 3 8 holes that are here uh, with the 3 8 dowels that we just put in. And that's easy enough. You just take it, you line them up, and then you let them drop right down. Now that we're here on the back, we're going to come around and we're going to put in our tapered screws. Now there are a total of nine of these and they're spaced every 12 inches along the back of this. So we'll do the same thing that we did with the other ones, is we're going to find the, the holes that are there, and we're going to screw each one in just until it grabs. And this is important, that we only screw each one in until it grabs, and we don't tighten them until we have all of the screws in. Now the reason is this is important is it's a very long length of uh, the seat back that's being attached here. And so for the same reason that we make sure that the other screws were seated properly is the same reason here. It's because the wood has a tendency to expand and contract. That's the nature of the wood. And so by making sure each one of these screws is seated properly, we're giving strength to the seat itself. Okay, all nine of the screws are in, and now I'm going to go back and I'm going to tighten them one at a time. And we tighten them until we actually see the space between the uh, seat and the seat back uh, close up. And the same thing. I'll fast forward this a little bit, and then once we get to the next spot, you can pause and we'll continue. So that's the very last one. We've tightened it and they've all pulled down a little bit. And you can just kind of feel them pull in and that's important. You want to put them so that they're tight but you don't want to put them so they're over tight. And that's one of the reasons I tell you to do everything with a screwdriver and it takes a little bit of time but it's important not to over tighten these because then you'll strip them out. Now we're on our very last step. And this last step is just connecting the leg to the seat back. And so these are going to be our smallest panhand screw that we have here. And we're going to line them up. And so they have a tendency to shift a little bit. And so you see the lines here that are on this label. And we just want to make sure that that leg is lined up with that. So start your screw. And then once you're in a little bit, you want to just make sure the top of the leg is lined up with those lines. And then once it is, it's going to find the pilot hole that's in the back. And then you're going to screw this in all the way until it pulls into the back. And you can see the space between the leg and the seat back just gets uh, pulled in. And then we're going to go and we're going to do the same thing for the right leg and for the left leg, or the R and the L. All right, and that's it. That's the final step. And we've got them all done. And once this is all put in together and it's tightened, this actually becomes one solid unit.
So that's it. Now you can peel off all the labels. That was just for the assembly. Uh, and I hope you get a chance to enjoy um, your rustic uh, veg. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, please check it out. Uh, check out the uh, uh, YouTube channel if you want to see other furniture pieces I've made. And of course, check out my store if you're looking uh, to get a couple of these beautiful pieces in your homestead.